So. All right, so this is Microsoft Surface, and what it allows us to do is to bring an ordinary tabletop to life. Uh, as you can see, I can reach out and just physically touch digital content with my hands, which is something that uh, is, is completely revolutionary in, in that it's an, a great advancement in natural user interface. Uh, today it's a 30-inch diagonal display, but in the future it could take many different form factors. It could go vertical, it could go uh, bigger, it could go smaller. Uh, what we've done is we announced it in May and we've, we've uh, got four commercial partners. We'll be first targeting the leisure entertainment and retail space. So it's not available for sale to consumers right now, but they'll be able to experience Surface in our commercial partners, such as Harris Casino, Casinos and Resorts, uh, Starwood Hotels, which has Weston, Sheraton, uh, T-Mobile, and International Game Technology. They, they produce... Uh, Microprocessor games, yeah. They take all my money. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so those four commercial partners will be purchasing Surface from us, and it'll be available through, uh, in, through their uh, in their venues in the spring of this year. All right. Um, let me show you two new applications that uh, are uh, just being introduced at CES. So your uh, readers and viewers are among the first to actually see these demos. This is called Snowboard. And it's a demo that actually um, illustrates how we can bring surface computing technology into an environment where technology doesn't exist today. Imagine going into a snowboard shop and there are hundreds of snowboards on the wall from which to choose. And, and it's a difficult decision and you really can't understand how you can personalize and customize those snowboards. You know, personalization and customization is really big. I mean, if, if you, you take a look around here at CES, it's one of the major themes. So Surface can actually enhance that situation. So if I'm in a, in a, in a market for a snowboard and I'm in a large sporting goods store, what I can do is I can get up, I can go to the wall, and on the wall I would see a variety of snowboards, and I would, I would find what I wanted, and I would pull a card off of a tag from below those snowboards, and I would be able to bring it over to Surface, and it has an optical tag on the back. And this optical tag is recognized by Surface, and when I place it down, that snowboard is brought to life on Surface. So now I have a 3D snowboard that I can actually touch and flip over with my, with my hands. If I want to design it to make it my own again, to personalize and customize it, I can take a look at a variety of uh, boards that are available in designs, and I can drag those to, uh, to uh, the blank snowboard. And what I want to do is customize it so that it's, it's further uh, illustrating sort of my personality and, and uh, what I want. And so I can actually change the color of a specific logo so I can bring this over and I can enlarge it, I can change this location and what I'll do is I'll place it right on the front of the board so it looks really menacing as I'm coming down the slopes. <laughs> and then I might want to choose another design here in the back and again I can change the colors and what I'll do is I'll bring this over and I'll have it bleed off the side a little bit like that. And when I'm ready what I can do is I can flip the board over and I can even further customize it by uh, signing my name on the back. And then when I'm ready, I just bring this over to the board, and I can have it uh, go along the edges like this, or I can have it sort of bleed off again, which I think I'll do. So you can see this as I'm uh, coming over the moguls over the top of your head. Now I can flip it over, and I'm ready to go. And what I'll do is I'll finish it by adding some bindings. But you know, I may not be ready to purchase this today. And one of the common problems in retail is that you may come in for an initial consultation, then you'll leave, and you've got to come back, and you've got to find the same salesperson and recreate the whole experience. But with Surface, what you can do is reach into your pocket and pull out a Windows Mobile smartphone, place it down on Surface, and you're presented with a couple of options. One is I can save this creation to my Windows Live Spaces account where I can share it with friends and talk about whether or not this is a great design. Or I can save it directly to the phone so that when I leave and then come back the next day with my friend to make my final decision, I can place it down on Surface and there's my creation. And what we might do is, you know, my friend might say, well, you know, let's move this up here. That's where it really should belong. And then I can purchase my snowboard and off I go. Then a few weeks later, if I'm uh, on the slopes, say in Colorado, uh, midway through my trip, I've been there for a few days, and some of my friends join me, and I say, and we walk into the Sheraton Hotel lobby, and we're by a fireplace, and there's a surface unit, and I can say, you know, today I was taking some great photos and some great video with my Windows mobile phone. I'm going to place it down here on surface, and there they are. These are the shots. Here I am coming down the slopes. In video, you can see me, and then here's uh, here's some other shots. Here, I took a digger right here. Um, that looks like you too. Yeah, it does look like you. <laughs> that's me. Um, 
so I can have fun with, with these and I can actually share photos with people. It's as if I printed these photos and they're available right on the surface for me to be able to interact. And multiple people can do this at once. You can see that you can have multiple interactions going. Over here in this corner, what I have is a Windows Live Spaces logo. So I've been here a few days and you guys just joined me. What I want to do is share some photos I took earlier in the week that I've posted up to Windows Live and here they are again. So I've got video again, and maybe what I've got is a photo that I think is really compelling, and I want to share this with some friends back home. I can turn this into a postcard, and because I've authenticated with my Windows mobile phone, what I can do is take this postcard, turn it over, and I could write a message to my friends. And then up here I've got my Windows Live contacts, and I can instantly go and I can send off this uh, creation via email, or I might even want to post it to my Live Spaces account. So again, what we've done is we've taken surface computing technology into an environment where, where technology didn't exist and we've addressed some real pain points. We've turned that situation where you had a large number of snowboards and really not an ability to customize. We've changed that and then we've made that uh, experience even better because it becomes mobile and portable via your Windows mobile phone and then we've got access to what we call the cloud, the internet, hardware software services through Windows Live. So it becomes a very, a very compelling experience. Another demo that we have, let me just uh, transition here. <clears throat> again, along the theme of going into commercial environments and talking about uh, how we can actually address clear problems and pain points for people. Are uh, either of you guys uh, wine drinkers? I'm, I work in the wine industry, actually. Mm -hmm. You do work in the wine industry. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. So, um, you know then that there's a large percentage of people that are intimidated sometimes by the wine selection process. Yeah, I'm one of them. You're one of them. Okay, <laughs> great. So, you know, what happens is... I'm not. I'll drink ananything. <laughs> <laughs> well, the wine steward will come up to you and he'll, he or she will have a large leather-bound book with a tremendous amount of uh, uh, confusing and difficult to remember names, uh, many of them in foreign languages. and. Uh, it, it tends to be an intimidating process. Well, what if with Surface, if this were the, our restaurant table, we could simply reach out and touch Surface with our fingers, our hands, and the wine menu now becomes available for us to browse through as easy as this. And you can see that the descriptions of the wines change. I could look at white wines or champagnes, but in this case, I look at red wines. And you know what? I tend to have different preferences as it relates to acidity and body and depth. And what I can do is I can winnow down this list of wines to exactly what I'm looking for and when I find uh, the bottle through uh, this focused approach that I want I can actually order it and then what happens is a virtual coaster appears on surface which is fantastic because what we can do is we can have the waiter identify my glass because I've got an optical tag on the back of it similar to the one I showed you on the snowboard and he or she knows which wine they poured into this glass and they could tie that to the POS system which associates with Surface and when it's placed down there all the information about my specific wine appears on Surface. I can take a drink of it and say, you know, this uh, this tastes pretty good. I think what I'll do is I'll start off giving this a rating, say maybe a mid-range rating, but I want to find out some more information about it. See, I can change the glow of this to say, well, I don't like it, a, a, I just like a little and maybe I like it a lot. So I'll start off right here, but what I'll do is I'll use Surface to find out more information about this wine. I can dig in and I can say, well, let me see what uh, foods might work well with this wine. Well, I can see that seared ahi is a good choice. So what I can do is I can just uh, order the seared ahi. I might want to be able to take a look at the winery and find out a little bit of more information about the winery. I can start a video playing and you being in the wine industry know that there's a lot of stories in a winery and it would be great to be able to see the uh, winemaker talking to you about uh, this season and, and uh, sort of the, the past seasons in the past, talking about the varietals that are available. And what I can do is I can place this back into surface. And uh, also, if I'm interested, I might want to take a look at the winemaking region. So where does this wine uh, originate from? And I can have a virtual earth map. I can turn it around. I can say, well, you know, look, here's the winery I'm interested in. There are several others. Well, I want to go out there and take a trip. Or maybe what I'll do is right here is I'll dive down in and I'll find out some more about, about these specific wines. All of this helps me make a more informed decision about the wine, and, and uh, if I like this, I can also solve another problem that I have. Is I, sometimes it's difficult to remember these complex names for wines, but what I can do is I can press this email button, and it'll send me a message back home. Or we could, with the power of service, have a Windows Live logo on there that would take this information, post it up to Windows Live, and I might be able to share it with my friends and be able to blog about it as well.